Welcome back to another video in the ESP IDF Basic series. Today we're going to learn how to handle button input and debounce. For hardware, I'm using an ESP32, a push button, and LED. The button is connected using a pull-up resistor. And I connect to one LED which will be controlled by push button. While the potentiometer next to it will be covered in the next video on ADC and PWM. In this video we'll focus on button handling. Now let's check the button wiring to ensure it's correctly set up as a pull-up resistor. Circuit diagram shown in the video. By default, not pressed. The GPIO is at high, 3.3 volt. When pressed, the GPIO drops to low, 0 volt. If using a pull-down resistor, the behavior is reversed. Make sure to connect the button as pull-up or pull-down so that it's configured correctly in the code. This video is just a simple LED on off control using a button in ESP IDF. If you're already familiar with this, feel free to skip this one. Okay, back to the coding part. I'm using ESP IDF on VS Code. If you haven't set it up yet, check out my ESP IDF playlist on my YouTube channel for a complete guide. Now let's go through the steps of handling button input with debounce. Include the necessary libraries. Configure GPIO as an input pull up. Here I use GPIO 34 for input button. I define debound delay at 50 millisecond. Create a bounce timer. Write the ISR and debounce timer callback. When the button is pressed, the ISR resets the debounce timer. The debounce timer callback after 50 millisecond if the button is still pressed, add log button pressed. Set up an app main. Configure button GPIO as input with pull up. Use Niche Edge for pull up or Pose Edge for pull down. Initialize the bounce timer. Register the interrupt handler for the button. Add ESP log for debugging via serial monitor. Finally, build and upload the firmware to ESP32 and check the result. Next, I'll add an LED that's controlled by a button. I'm using GPIO4 for the LED and I'll create a variable called LED state set value to zero. In the debounce timer callback function, to toggle the LED with a single button, we need to invert LED state every time the button is pressed. Then use PIO set level to apply that state to the LED pin. In app main, I configure the LED GPIO as output and add some ESP logs to print the button and LED state to the serial monitor. Then I build and upload the firmware to the ESP32 and open the serial monitor to check the result. As you can see, the LED toggles on each button press, just as expected. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.
If you found it helpful, don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to stay updated with more ESP32 tutorials. See you in the next video.